Good morning, children. Welcome to the third session of English. In this session, we are going to study a very interesting story, the necklace. But before we begin, let us discuss the warming up activities of this lesson. Question one: Talking about myself. Write a few lines about yourself, your name. appearance family the place where you live your school your friends neighbors relatives your likes dislikes hobbies what you are good at etc now create an imaginary persona for yourself it can be quite different from your real self or you may choose a fictional character a character from a novel story etc write a few lines about this imaginary persona and introduce yourself in that role so children in the first column you all have to introduce your own self with the help of the points given above these points include your name your appearance that means the way you look your family background the place where you live your school your friends etc in the next column you will have to introduce your own self as an imaginary character that character can be either from a novel or a story or a film you have to imagine that you are that character and then introduce yourself let us see the second activity my dream position Is there something that you would like to own more than anything else? Describe your dream possession with the help of the following points. You may add your own points too. So, for this activity, you have to write about a thing that you want the most with the help of the points that have been given here. The points are whether you would share it with others, its appearance, color, shape size etc its use where you saw it first what you would use it for how you would use it why you want it so much and what you would do to get it you can also add your own points okay let's start then children this is the story of a young girl named mathilde who always dreamt of a luxurious life and was unwilling to accept the reality of her situation this led her into a grave problem as the story progresses we will see how she overcame the situation and what was its effect on her life let's start then part 1 mathild was a pretty and charming girl born as if by an error of fate into a family of clerks she had no means of becoming known understood loved or be wedded to an aristocrat and so she let herself be married to a minor official at the ministry of education she dressed plainly because she had never been able to afford anything better she suffered endlessly feeling she was entitled to all the luxuries of life she suffered because of her shabby poorly furnished house all these things that another woman of her class could not even have noticed tormented her and made her resentful she dreamed of a grand palatial mansion with vast rooms and inviting smaller rooms perfumed for afternoon chats with close friends yet she had no rich dresses no jewels nothing and these were the only things she loved she wanted so much to charm to be envied to be sought after she had a rich friend a former schoolmate at the convent whom she avoided visiting because afterwards she would weep with regret despair and misery let us see the difficult words and their meanings 
the word aristocrat means a member of a higher social class the word entitled means deserved tormented means troubled resentful means unhappy palatial means huge envied means feel jealous about regret means feel sorry despair means sadness or helplessness let me explain to you all the paragraph there was an extremely beautiful girl named mathilde she was very charming and attractive but she was born into a family of clerks she knew that she could not be wedded into a rich family to a rich officer and so she let herself to be married to a minor official means a person working in the office at a not so significant position she believed that her grace and beauty was so great that she deserved to live a luxurious life wearing beautiful clothes expensive jewelry and living in a big mansion was all that she dreamt of however she could neither afford rich clothes nor a well furnished house so she was very unhappy and suffered endlessly she just craved for attention and wanted to be known by everyone for her beauty and riches but she had nothing the desire for a big mansion and well furnished house tormented her and made her very unhappy she had a rich friend who was her schoolmate but mathilde avoided visiting her cause she would feel really sad and helpless seeing her lifestyle let us see the next paragraph one evening her husband came home with an air of triumph holding a large envelope in his hand look he said here's something for you she tore open the paper and drew out a card on which was printed the words the minister of education and madam georges rampenu requests the pleasure of monsieur and madam loisel's company at the ministry on the evening of monday january 18 Instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped she threw the invitation on the table resentfully and muttered what do you want me to do with that and what do you expect me to wear if i go let us see the difficult words that we have come across with their meanings the word triumph means a feeling of victory the phrase drew out means pulled out the word delighted means happy the word resentfully means angrily let me explain to you all the paragraph one evening her husband came home overjoyed with a large envelope in his hand it was an invitation for a party by the ministry of education however instead of being happy as expected by her husband mathilde threw the invitation card angrily as she had nothing worth wearing to the party let's see the next paragraph he hadn't thought of that he stammered why the dress you go to the theater in it seems very nice to me he stopped stunned distressed to see his wife crying he stuttered what's the matter let's see mathilde how much would a suitable dress cost she thought for a moment computing the cost and also wondering what amount she could ask for without an immediate refusal at last she answered hesitantly i don't know exactly but i think I could do it with four hundred francs. He turned a little pale, because that was the exact amount he had been saving to buy a gun for a hunting summer 
in the country near Nanter with a few friends. However, he said, Very well, I give you 400 francs, but try and get a really beautiful dress. Let us see the meanings of the difficult words that we have come across in this paragraph with their meanings. The word stammered means repeating the initial letters while speaking. The word stunned means shocked. Distressed means sad. Computing means calculating. Refusal means to deny or non-acceptance. Let me explain to you all the paragraphs. Method's husband, Loisel, hadn't thought of that. He suggested her to wear the dress that she wore to the theatre. But Mathilde was not convinced and started crying. Loisel loved his wife and felt very unhappy to see his wife crying. And so he asked her how much money would she need to buy a suitable dress. Mathilde thought for some time calculating the cost of the dress and also thinking how much amount could she ask her husband that he could afford. Finally, she said uncertainly that 400 francs could be enough. Suddenly, her husband's face fell as that was the exact amount he had been saving to buy a gun to go hunting with some of his friends. However, he said to Mathilde that he would give 400 francs to her, but she should get a really beautiful dress out of it. With this, we end this session. In the next session, we will see what happens further in the story. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.